Hello and hello again, this is Tibble Winkles and we are in Discourse. So what I've gathered from this game is that you are a person that crash landed by a plane onto an island and you're going to look for survivors and try to survive. It's a bit like the Telltale Games Walking Dead where you make decisions and decisions will have consequences and affect the overall ending. Okay then, I've already done a, a an initial recording just to see if the game runs because a lot of indie games do have problems with OBS but this one seems fine so we're going to do a new game. So we are playing as Rita, she is a female, born in the 90s, 90s kid, nationality locally sourced, height not quite fancy, education BFA or not applicable, hometown Groundsville, employer is a jittering Java, occupation barista stroke artist, enjoys web flicks, earplugs, quiet and uneventful flights. Well, guess what's going to happen? Okay, we're going to enjoy our trip and bon voyage. The paths you forge are your own. Choose wisely. Well, so much for an uneventful flight. Hmm, I need a voice for her. Uh, my brain feels like it went through a coffee grinder. It feels like I've been lying out here for hours. What's all this crap on the beach? Wait, a plane crash? But I was... Oh no. Alright, stay calm, Rita. And there we are, I'm using the Xbox controller. And we are going places. Okay, we've got a pan. What the heck is a frying pan doing on a plane? Eh, um, I do not know, so I'm going to use a div... If I can't see the character, I'm going to use a default voice, which is my voice. They're closing in on us. Huh? Oh, what the heck was that? That's my seat. Good old 21C. I wonder if things would have gone differently if I was in a window seat. Okay then. Uh, I should go check out that noise. Not yet. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to go check it out. Go investigate. I've got a pan. I'm pretty sure I can do this. They're calling for backup. Well, we're, we're totally surrounded. Uh, make sure you aim for their eyes. It, it will scramble the chips in their brains. It doesn't matter. We're done for. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, somebody else is approaching. Uh, she probably, she's probably here to feast on us just like these crabs. What are you talking about? Me? Yeah, you're probably clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady. Now might be a good chance, a good time to help us. All right, I'm coming. I've got my trusty metal detector on me, but they will not. They will definitely attack if I pull it out. Just get over here and help me. Wait, no, come here. Well, I might as well try to put this frying pan to good use. Um. Uh, let's see. Attack crabs with frying pan or scare them away. Scare. Ah, I scared them away. Whoa, you totally scared them away. Um. Ouch, those things are fierce. My, my legs are all torn up. This isn't good. Okay, well, uh, let's get back to camp. The others will want to meet. Um, I didn't catch your name. Uh, it's Rita. Wait. There are other survivors? Yeah, they're further inland. I'm Steve, by the way. Uh, my name is Teddy. Alright, let's get going. Are you ready to head to camp? Uh, give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Fine, but try to make it quick. We need to check for items. Uh, did I... Man, one of those... 
these weird plants and twigs look edible. Even if they were, it doesn't look like they would taste very good. Okay, let's... Whoa! There's metal and wreckage all over the beach. I'm kind of glad I can't remember the crash. It must have been terrible. Yep, let's go. Sure, let's get going. Do you think it's a little risky to take this stranger back? What if she's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit? You're an only child, aren't you, Teddy? Uh, no, my brother was human. I think we'll be fine. Let's go, Rita. I don't really know how this is going to come out on uh, vocally. I'm wearing headphones. Look, another survivor. What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to Betsy, come have a seat. You must have been out for hours. Are you alright? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. That's good. None of us seem to have been injured in a crash. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. The lump over there with the moustache, that's my husband, George. <laughs> Hi. What sort of voice did I give him? Online I'm known as Nebulord90. But you can call me Garrett. All he's been doing is playing games on his stupid handheld video machine. Hey. Uh, where are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. This island is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff could be on the other side. There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. We've started making the best of this here situation. I got this here filed. Um, I got this fire built and we got started on some shelter. So far, all we got for food is a pile of pretzels from off of the plane. Cheese uh, Louise and sweet cream cheese. Oh no, <laughs> those pretzels are our only food. Oh darn. These were going to be such a well-balanced meal for us. What if there are more of those, those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with George and me. Let's get this boar. Um, I don't think that's the best idea. It's not like we have weapons to hunt them. My Georgie has his old fishing pole. We can frap him with that. And I suppose you're going to throw that bulky camera of yours at them? Well, I'll do what needs to be done. Uh, we, we need to stay here and defend a few resources that we got left. Come along, Georgie. We don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hoodlums. Uh, Rita, are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's go after it. Uh, uh, let's get it. It's bacon making time. Yeehaw! Is that a girl? What sort of voice did I give her? Uh, never mind. Wait, hold on a second. You're just going to leave the three of us alone? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Don't worry, Garrett. You still have half the group left. You guys would be fine. What are we supposed to do if something attacks us here? Ugh, you're all as brave as a bar of soap. Hmm. Defend the camp at all costs or you should hide. We don't have much resources. You should hide. But just hide. Keep yourself safe. It won't be long until we're back. This doesn't sound like a very solid plan. Just stick your head in the sand like one of them emus. I'll 
think I'll probably use a bush or something instead. George and Rita, let's get moving. Well, okay, let's hope that that was a good idea. Because if we... Uh, there it is! We need to be careful, or it will run away again. Maybe I can stun it with my camera flash. I got my trusty fishing pole, and too bad it broke in a crash. I might be able to hit him with it. Alright, so what's the plan? Hang on, I'm thinking. Okay, tell Jolene to flash her camera. Jolene, flash the ball with your camera. Maybe you will stun it. Flashing the camera when it's looking away isn't a good idea. A good call. This is a bad idea. Okay, what if I throw my frying pan? I'm going to throw my frying pan at it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really throw it this far? Never mind. Uh, you're probably right. Never mind. Tell George to throw his pole. George, throw your fishing pole at it. This thing is wasted kind of goofy. I don't know how well it's going to work. Good call. Better not. I'm going to throw a frying pan. I'm going to throw my frying pan at it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really throw this far? Yeah, I think I can do it. Don't worry about it, Jolene. I got this. What? Whoa! Oh, man. What was that? Did you really think you were going to hit the ball from here with a frying pan? I guess... Oh, I'm not... Um, I guess I'm just not strong as I thought. Whoops. It's getting late. I think the hunt is a lost cause at this point. Let's just get ourselves back to the camp. Maybe the others have better news. Uh, I guess it was kind of stupid to throw this. Oh well. Lesson learned. Oh, but don't you... You've been saying... Oh! Well, I kind of blame Jolene for for trying to veto every single thing. And finally, you guys shouldn't have left us. Hey, uh, take a deep breath. Are you okay? Uh, uh, oh, hey, sorry. Uh, I kind of got carried away there. Um, yeah. There was definitely more than just that one bore. Oh, y'all are just belly aching. What even happened? More boat, more boar showed up. We needed everyone here. You shouldn't have listened to Jolene. We needed to stay together, Rita. It's like they have a hive mind. It was all part of a bigger plan. And the first boar was just a distraction, so the others could feast upon our flesh. Uh, we hid like you suggested, Rita. Nobody was hurt, but the boars made off with our pretzel bags. Plus, it doesn't look like you guys have brought anything back. Yeah, it really is my fault. I'm sorry, everyone. We lost the boar because of me. It doesn't matter whose fault it was. You all failed. Look, let's just leave this be. Tonight we're focused on resting and preparing for tomorrow. I guess we don't have much choice, do we? This isn't good. This is not good at all. Well, we set up a bit of a shelter early this morning. Grab a torch and we'll show you the shelter we made. Well, uh, yeah, this is a, off to a good start. Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. I guess this is our home for now, until we get rescued. This torch won't last forever. 
but I should have enough time to talk to a few people. You know what? Uh, who to talk to? Jolene seems very brash. I want to talk to um, Teddy. Man, this whole system is simply outrageous. Uh, what are you even talking about? Uh, well, listen, is it obvious? Uh, this is a test. The government wants us wants to see if we're qualifying. Uh, qualified? Uh, do I have to spell everything out to you? We're being watched. I saw some sort of government agent on plane. I have reason to believe that he was following me. Are you serious? That's kind of suspicious. He was sitting next to Garrett and they were talking. I have to admit, that is pretty strange. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Unless he's keeping an eye on us. I bet you've never been on an adventure like this before. Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days. Though it doesn't hold a torch to these past hours. It can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. And we're probably going to die out here. No extra lives or saved games to help us out. Yeah, you might be right. If only there were real life cheat codes we could use. Those boars were pretty huge though. Those things definitely not. Uh, those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in the games. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I would level up if I killed one. Yeah, I bet it was intense when they invaded. We maybe could have put up a fight if we had all been there. I thought that Jolene, George and I were doing would be more useful. This adventure is hard, that's for sure. Well, time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. This port, yeah. This porch, this torch won't last for much longer. I could probably sneak in one more chat. I'm ready for a good night of sleep. Yeah, we'll see how sleeping goes on the on the sand goes. I suppose we can't be too picky. Why don't you and Jolene sleep next to each other? You two are married, aren't you? Well, Jolene has been complaining about my snoring recently, which is odd because it never used to bother her. Sorry, I guess that's none of my business. Oh no, it's fine. Man, I sure wish we could have gotten that boar. Yeah, uh, that was a little harder than I expected. What did you expect? The thing was as big as you are. I'm glad we were able to do it. Reminds me of rest... Uh, Reminds me of wrestling my cousins back on the farm. I was younger than all of them. That didn't stop me from putting up a fight though. Uh, did you ever win? Once in a blue moon. Now that I think about it though, they probably just let me win so I wouldn't quit. The torch is slow. It's time for me to go to sleep. It doesn't look very comfortable, but I guess I'll have to serve for the night. Might as well try and get some shit I. Wow, this is the first night and already I can see myself making a ton of mistakes. Ugh, looks like we actually made it through the first night, alive. Yay. I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything today. What? What do you mean? All you did. Yesterday was make things more difficult by leaving. Well, I'm gonna help y'all. You might need me. Fine, if you insist. I've got a headache already without having to argue with you. Maybe someone planted something in your brain while you were asleep. Which one of you was it? Speak up? <coughs> I suspect a Garrett. Huh? Why me? Alright guys. 
I think I just need some coffee. Caffeine withdrawal makes me feel like I'm in college again. Drinking something usually helps. Not salt water. I'm going to check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will end. Who knows? Maybe there may be some water from the plane as well. Uh, we need to signal for help if we ever plan on being saved. Let's see. Let's explore the crash site. First thing is survival, you look at what resources you have and you ration it. Steve's right. There could be valuable supplies that were on the plane. Alright dear, I'll help you to dig through the plane wreckage then. Someone should go look for a lake or spring with fresh water. Send Garrett, he seems like the kind of guy that could use a trip. I, uh... Oh, stop whining. It won't be that hard to look around the island. This is not a solo task. There is no way I can get the quest reward alone. Hey, take George with you. He is the best help you can find. Just go, Garrett. You'll be fine. Alright, uh, you do your thing then, guys. Okay, Steve. Do you know where the wreckage is? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Just follow me, it's not too far. Alright, lead on. So we leave the geek to, um, never mind. Sure is crazy to see all this. It's hard to believe that anyone could survive that. Why were you on a plane? Why were you on the plane? I was nominated to compete in the International Latte Art Championships. Wait, so what do you do for a living? I normally work as a barista at a local coffee shop. Sounds better than my job. Eh, going to college hasn't really paid off yet. Yeah, it's hard to say. If you ask me, College ain't even worth it. Nobody ask you. Well, I'm just saying my George never went to college. He makes he takes me on vacations multiple times every year. That's really great, Julian. Steve, were you on the same business trip or something? Oh, um, well, I was forced to go on vacation by our staff therapist. A forced vacation? That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, well I threw a stapler across the office of my boss. And you didn't get fired? I was given the, you're a valuable asset to the company speech. They still neglect to promote me though. Well, that would make a good paperweight. Why would you have to stop and look at every little plant we come across, dear? Us city folk don't get to see nice flowers all that often. I'm allergic to, well, everything. I'm not going to be sniffing any of those. No, yeah. Let's see, let's just keep going around and seeing if there's anything around every corner. Okay then, so there's nothing here. Okay, let's go here. Investigate the plane further. There's probably some useful stuff lying around in here. That piece of metal there. Why don't you see if you can lift it? Uh, it's way too heavy. Jolene, get over here and help me. Nice, you guys are pretty strong. Well, it comes on with working on the farm all of those years. Do they teach that in those college of yours? Actually... Okay, let's focus guys. I just start looking for supplies or whatever. Oh, I think I see something over there. 
Oh, awesome. It's a box of emergency flares. This will be useful. Weird. It kind of smells like alcohol over here. Oh my goodness, that ain't alcohol, it's jet fuel. Steve, your cigarette. Uh, I'm surrounded. Uh, just jump out, you can make it. Here goes. I, I'm alive. Uh, you're on fire. What? Uh, stop, drop, and roll. Run into the water, honey. Yeah, if he stayed there, the jet fuel would have sort of went kaboom on him. So that was... Having him jump out was a far better idea. Oh, soothing. Are you alright? I'm definitely not as well as I was before all this. But hey, I'm alive. Plus, we did get those flares out, out of it, so there's that. Uh, good point. We've got the flares, so we should get out of here. This place is burned up anyway. There's nothing left here. Well, we found these flares. It was a rough run, but we made a pretty good team. On that note, we weren't able to get any water. Uh, can't, can anyone do anything around here? I feel like I'm back at the office. Um, well, I spent most of my of the day lost. Are you serious? How? Wasn't George with you? He thought he knew where he was going. Uh, we got a little separated. All of the plants look the same. Uh, let's get some should I? We can look into it tomorrow. Yeah. I think we could all use some rest. I'll grab a torch. We should find our way over to the tent. Wow. So this is how the game goes. Okay then. Quite honestly, don't want to talk to Jolene. But I... Uh, let's see. I'm going to choose Jolene first. We still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it seems like the work is never going to end. George always says that work is the best thing for you. I think that may be the only thing we can disagree on. Well, maybe there's more than just one. From what I understand, no marriages. No marriages without a little disagreement. But I guess I shouldn't act as the authority on that. You'll see one day that marriage can be a complicated thing. Yeah, maybe. You're a strong woman, Weeta. You ought to have everyone swooning over you. <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night, Rita. And then I want to talk to you. So, you and Julian travel a lot? Oh yes, she loves to travel. Only her? Oh well... Oh, uh, well, I didn't mean... I really don't mind it. I do miss the safety of home when we're gone. I do it for Jolene, though. You two must really love each other. Well, yes, uh, yes we do. Uh, why the hesitation? Oh, I don't know. Things have been different lately. I'll just push it. How have they been different? Oh, uh, I don't know, just lots of little things. I'm sure that is nothing. I'm just being a little paranoid. Maybe getting stuck on this island would be good for us. We can have a simple life away from everything for a little while. Uh, 
I, I wish I could help more, but I don't think it's my place to comment. Now, Jolene and I have been through a lot together. Maybe we can get through this. Phew, I need some rest. Have a good night, Rita. For sure. You should take good care of that bird. The last thing you want for it. Oh, the last thing you want is for it to get infected. I don't think it'll make any difference. Karma seems to have a way of sorting these things out for you. Don't tell me you actually think that. I don't know. I must have done something seriously horrible in the past life though. Hey, we're still alive, aren't we? Good point. I suppose. The door just looked too low. It's time for me to go to sleep. Man, what a day. Might as well try it and get some shirt eye. Day 3. One more night down. I'm going to stretch my legs and move around. You're right. It sure would be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. We're going to go days without food. Just stay strong. Uh, can we focus here? We have to figure out what we're doing today. We got all these flares from the wreckage. I'm sure they'll be useful somehow. But. We still have no source of fresh water. Yeah, that's bad. Really bad. Yeah, we need to get water. I'll help Garrett get water. Water's important. I'll come with you, Garrett. We'll make sure we get some this time. We'll bring our empty airline bottles with us to carry it in. Oh, what? Oh, uh, okay. I'll come with you two, just in case you need a hand. Thanks, George. Uh, maybe one day you'll start listening to me. But it is not this day. What? How dare you? What are the be- Hmm, what are the rest of you going to do then? Alright then, Teddy, Steve, and I should go to- Look for some food. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Let's create more opportunities to get lost or killed. Suck it up, suck it up, Steve. The alternative is running out of food. All right, everybody, let's get a move on. You know, it's too bad that my trusty fishing pole here got broken in a plane crash. If we actually found a pond or something, we could have gone fishing in it. The only thing of mine that survived the crash was my game brick. I clung on to Bricky with my life. I don't know what I'll do without her. And that toy there is your life? What? How dare you? Shh, it's okay, Bricky. The scary moustache man didn't mean it. Alright guys, let's focus. We're here to find the water. It's hopeless. There is no water out here. Let's not give up just yet. There's got to be some trace of water around here. Let's split up and search the vicinity. Well, that is all the time I have for this session. I'm going to sort of do it in sort of half an hour sessions because of how this game goes I really can't do any skips or jump cuts this is a really interesting game and it seems like it's more of an adventure yep yeah, yeah consequence game yep yeah, I don't know how to say it but anyway thank you very much for watching if I did a good job give us a thumbs up any thoughts please leave them in the comment section down below and I hope to see you in our next adventure bye bye